Hey guys, you may have seen already, I've done a number of videos on this year's World's Strongest Man with athletes competing, athletes not competing, people having to drop out through injuries. Unfortunately, we've had two more athletes that have had to drop out of this year's competition. Konstantin Janasha, who hails from Georgia, placed fourth at World's Strongest Man 2016. Unfortunately, has failed his COVID-19 test, as has Martin Forsmark from Sweden. All the athletes had to take a COVID-19 test before they were allowed to fly out to Florida. They need to take another test once they arrive, and then they need 24 hours quarantine before they get the go-ahead that they can compete in this year's show. So potentially we still have a chance of losing more athletes, but as it stands, these two men are out of the 2020 competition. So this year's contest has been very, very frustrating for the athletes, but it's been an absolute nightmare for the organisers. For those that haven't seen, I did a recent chat with Colin Bryce, who's working on World's Strongest Man this year, and he, he gives some of the reasons why it's been such a logistical nightmare to not only organise, but to just get athletes out there competing that are all in shape. Right now, Nick Best and Gav Biltong are the two alternates, so both of those should be moving into the main competition. I'd love to know your thoughts on who you think deserves a shot or an invite. You never know, the organizers may be watching. Give your reasons, not only who you want, but why you want these guys to get a shot at World's Strongest Man. Bear in mind, the athletes are flying tomorrow. As I'm bringing this to you, it's Friday. The athletes fly out Saturday and the contest starts next week. Very, very short amount of time. But if you're an athlete that is in good shape, show that you're ready guys because you, you might get an invite just make it clear that you're ready that you're ready to fly you've got a passport ready whatever it is athletes are going to be needed i feel like we still don't know the final list it's frustrating but i do hope everything goes smoothly from now i hope we don't lose any more athletes and i hope we have an awesome world strongest man 2020. While you're here guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.